हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल एंड स्टेइंग सेफ वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो ऑफ द फुटबॉल मेनिया एंड व्हाट अ थ्रिलर वी एनकाउंटर्ड एट द एतिहाद स्टेडियम येस्टरडे नाइट बिटवीन मैनचेस्टर सिटी एंड आर्सेनल यस आई कॉल इट अ थ्रिलर इवन दो इट वाज अ लो स्कोरिंग अफेयर एंड वी हैव टू गिव क्रेडिट वेयर इट इज ड्यू द रेनिंग चैंपियंस ऑफ इंग्लिश फुटबॉल दैट इज मैनचेस्टर सिटी finally overcame you know the very much hyped arsenal this season by a goal to nil it was a very very highly contested tactical battle it was the master versus the apprentice and guess what the master had the last laugh after you know a steady rise of the apprentice after 3 years and we have to say that i was quite surprised by arsenal's starting 11 for this match you know that this is one of those competitions where arsenal has been so successful they have won it 14 times and in order to you know extend that lead as the most number of wins of the fa cup you have to you know field in your strongest team i don't care whether it is just another domestic cup competition you are coming up against manchester city one of the most formidable teams not just in english football but in world football and you know mikel arteta i think got a trick wrong over there because he could have played his main 11 which he plays in the premier league yes i understand that all the players need playing time and it is important to give every player minutes on the pitch however this was not the match where you could have you know just played rob holding coming up against erling haaland and in the first half what i saw that arsenal were kind of dominating the possession which is quite a surprise at the etihad and i was expecting manchester city to come good at some point of time and throughout the first half i would say that arsenal had more clear cut chances ortega was the only you know change which manchester city made they fielded de bruyne gundogan mares grealish haland all the formidable players in the starting 11 were on the pitch and you know still arsenal managed to work the goalkeeper for manchester city and i was expecting arsenal to take the lead had they taken one of their chances it could have been a completely different ball game however this is the funny game of football and we all know that the match can swing from one spectrum to the other within no time and that is exactly what happened in the second half rob holding was you know substituted because he got a silly yellow card he was having a nightmare facing up against erling haaland and i felt mikel arteta kind of adjusted the back line he brought on william saliba who has been quite incredible and consistent this season and yes leandro trossard has a couple of chances eddie enketia was also quite good in his link up play bukayo saka had a very quiet game by his lofty standards and i expected more from him in the second half however it was a very big surprise that thomas partey was substituted and lokonga came on to the pitch and that just shows that you know mikel arteta is not ready to take the game by the scruff of the neck yes it was the fa cup but you could have you know fielded the starting 11 from the start and martinelli came on and i would just like to talk about the goal which manchester city scored it came at the right time for city because arsenal were still looking to dominate possession they were penetrating much more into city's defensive third and i felt that a goal is around the corner and manchester city is a team which can you know just flick a switch and they are ready to go and they created a couple of chances before eventually scoring and jack grealish was very very instrumental in the goal he set up nathan ake who on his weaker foot you know just passed the ball into the far post and it was a very very well taken composed finish matt turner had no chance in goal and i have to say that you know tomiyasu could have dealt with it better and william saliba could have you know lent a bit better because it is a shot and if you are not in position at least you try to you know do your best to 
block the shot and that is something which Saliba did not do and Manchester City took the lead and we all know for a fact that whenever City take the lead at the Etihad Stadium it is going to be curtains for the opposition because after that they completely kill the game they manage the time and they are one of the best in the business when it comes to managing a game of football and that is exactly what Pep Guardiola's team did they did not make a flurry of changes yes they brought on other key players they brought on Julian Alvarez De Bruyne and Mares were uh, you know pulled off and I expected a lot of changes however the approach by Arsenal in the second half could have been much better I felt that you know they were not able to you know put more players inside the box which has been one of their strengths this season and if they had done that we could have actually seen an equalizer however Manchester City are through to the fifth round of the FA Cup and I have to blame Mikel Arteta for his sheer arrogance of fielding a second string squad against Manchester City and mind you Pep Guardiola gave Arsenal a lot of respect by fielding his formidable 11 barring the goalkeeper and that is where I felt that there is a you know complete change in mentality and you know Manchester City really took this game seriously and for Arsenal it was like okay we are anyway the league leaders and we will do our business in the Premier League it does not work like that my friends if you are an ambitious club you have to take every single competition seriously and that is what I have been really craving for as an Arsenal fan I expect this team to you know put in that work rate put in that 100% commitment week in and week out and compete in every single competition that exists for them however you know it is unfortunate last time out they got knocked out to Nottingham Forest and this time out they got knocked out to Manchester City and by the way they could have easily you know taken the game to City much better and we could have seen a completely different result however they only have themselves to blame and now they will be there in the Premier League title race and also in the Europa League it will be interesting to see how Arteta shuffles his pack for the remainder of the season and it will be really crucial to see how far can Manchester City go in the FA Cup so guys I would love to know who was your man of the match I felt that Nathan Ake completely pocketed Bukayo Saka and he also grabbed the winner so he was the player of the match according to me but I would love to know what are your thoughts and what are your key predictions for the season ahead so please let me know and please stay tuned for the football mania because I will be coming up with lots of content not just from English football but also from football across the globe so please stay tuned and until next time stay safe and take care.